Hi everyone, Carol Breitbill. You give out a lot of assignments and there's different ways to keep yourself organized with your assignments. Of course, you can go to the upper left and go down to review. But one way I wanna take you, I wanna take you to the assignment page. This is the specific page that is tied into just that one assignment. I'm gonna open up this one assignment here and to enter the assignment page, you have to select the turned in or the assigned. I'm going to select turned in and now we are at the assignment page for this specific assignment. When you're in this page you have the ability to touch and go into any of the docs that the students have because when you create an assignment it's also shared with you. When you look down this page you can see what the assignment, the total points that it's worth. You can change this if you want to. And what you can do in the assignment page, you can go into the work that is turned in. When you're in the work that's turned in, this is where you can grade it down the right-hand column. You can add a private comment. Another thing I want you to see within this area is called the comment bank. When you click on this icon, it shows your comment bank. If you haven't already added any comments here, you hit the plus here to add to the bank and it gives you the ability to type in a comment that you wanna share with your students. As you start putting in comments, you can start building up a bank of replies that you have given time and time again so that you don't have to retype it. I put this one comment here on taking them to a YouTube video on how to create a citation. And I'm gonna select the icon here and this will copy this to my clipboard because that's the first step that you have to do when you're using the comment bank. And now you come down and you select a comment and you can paste that comment right there. Making sure to select the blue comment button. From this area, you can look at the top and there's the arrows that go right and left. When you select the next arrow, it takes you to the next student's assignment and you continue your grading process and any commenting that you wanna do here. And this is also where you can return the work to the students. Going back to student one, I wanna return this back to the student. When you open up a student's assignment, it opens up in a new tab so that you can easily close that tab to go back to the assignment page. When you have all the assignments graded and you've completed what you need to do here, now you can go to the gear in the upper right corner. This gear is different than the gear that takes you to your settings. This gear is only available on this assignment page. This gear takes you how you can copy all grades to a Google Sheet. Let's do that. What it does, it doesn't just copy the grades from that specific assignment page. It copies all the grades from all your assignments and puts them on a nicely formatted Google Sheet. When you look down the left column, you can see the name of the student. It has the student's email. You have all the grades that go across the top and you can see their grade point average. Selecting the hyperlink underneath the name will take you back to that Google Classroom. The second area in the gear is also to download the grades as a CSV file. When I click this, what will happen? It will download the grades as a Microsoft comma separated value. That's what CSV stands for. And what you can do with the CSV file if your student information system imports grades, you can get a template from your student information system and match the format and the layout to this file here that you just downloaded. So then you can upload your grades to your student information system and not have to rekey them. When you come to the left of the student work tab, it takes you to the instructions for that assignment. When you select the three dot ellipse, you can select edit and it takes you into that assignment that you first created. It takes you to the Google Doc. You can come over to the right hand column and you can change the grade category. You can give it a different topic, a different due date, and even if you want to assign a rubric at this time. After selecting save, it takes you back into the instructions area. If you want to select the check mark beside the names of each student, you can also email your students right from that area. So you can see how the student work tab is a very valuable area for you within your Google Classroom.